Remember that InfraWorks model that we used to start this entire process? Well, we can import our Revit building into InfraWorks to get a better idea of the overall impact of the new building on the proposed site. This works especially well for residential developments, university campus master planning, city blocks, neighborhoods, and strip malls, just to name a few applications. Really any project can benefit from having properly coordinated models. So then, how do we import our Revit models into InfraWorks? For the best and fastest result, you can export your Revit model to an FBX or NWC file. So similar to what we had done for our 2D view, you should set up a 3D view that contains only the categories and objects you want to be seen in the InfraWorks model. Categories such as ductwork, piping, and furniture can be turned off since we most likely will not see those elements from the site anyways. And so we'll export the 3D view to an FBX file and save that in our Construction Cloud project. You're now ready to import that into InfraWorks. But before we can do that, we first need to grab the coordinate values from our Revit model. We'll do this by simply copying and pasting the northing, easting, elevation, and rotation angles from the project base point into Notepad. Now over here in InfraWorks, open the Data Sources palette from the Content panel on the Manage tab. Choose 3D Model from the list of available data sources and browse for your FBX file. After your model has been imported, you then need to configure it, which basically means you need to tell InfraWorks where that model is supposed to be. You also need to define the object type for the FBX file, which in this case will be a building. This is where things start to get a little tricky. You also need to set the coordinate system to match your model units, not the actual geographic location coordinate system. If you don't see it in the dropdown, you can click the globe icon and browse for it. Take note of the different types of coordinate systems available. Remember, our models are using feet for the units, not survey feet or meters, so we need to make sure we select the correct coordinate system from the list. In this case, I'll be sure to select the XY-IFT coordinate system. But we're not done yet. We now need to transfer the project base point coordinates to the X, Y, and Z values. In Revit, the corresponding value for InfraWorks Y value is the northing value, and for InfraWorks X value, it is the easting value in Revit. The elevation is straightforward. And lastly, on the rotation panel, the value is not simply the angle to true north in Revit's project base point. The correct rotation value in InfraWorks will be a calculated value. 360 degrees minus the angle to true north will be the value you actually enter. Once you've transferred the values from Revit to InfraWorks, click Close and Refresh. Do not click OK. Clicking OK will just close the dialog box and you'll have to redo the values again. Close and Refresh will close the dialog box and refresh the data source with the values you've entered.